This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. So this is the Indonesian model, which I think spec-wise is almost identical to the Japanese models, uh, in that it's the same kind of concept with a chambered outer body. We've got the same pickups, same sort of arrangement of stuff. It's just built in Indonesia, essentially, like more or less what they did with the Revstar range. And I thought that was a really good move in some ways, and I, I kind of called it brave at the time. With the Revstar stuff because I feel like those new Revstar 2s, if anything, they're a little bit too close considering the price gap was kind of my thinking on it. I think like the, the Indonesian Revstar is about 600 for a stainless steel, pretty well appointed guitar. And then a thousand pound on top of that was basically the price for the Japanese version. Um, and when you have them both in your hands, like actually they do feel quite similar. The, I feel like, this guitar has a slightly slimmer neck dimension. I don't have the actual neck dimensions anyway, but that's that's one of the things that I'm kind of noticing. Um, this one wasn't set up to intonate quite as well, um, but nothing kind of drastic, and I think that could easily be uh, amended, just, you know, a little bit of a saddle shift. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like, so I guess people are going to be thinking would the standard plus be the way to go or the Japanese? For me personally, and I guess this is to be expected, I, I was feeling the Japanese model a bit more. I, I guess if I didn't know the price difference, maybe I and I didn't know which was which in a blind test, I think I might notice that this had a different kind of neck shape, maybe. Um, but yeah, and the other small difference is that this is kind of... Um, like a, a decal rather than, and it might just be like a, a more mirrored decal, but still really well appointed with Goto hardware. Uh, all of the key things there are the same. So uh, I also wanted to just compare how it sounded with some of my preferred pickups, which are the um, K-Line signatures in that guitar, uh, which are very close to like a lot of Dirty Blonde. Uh, that's 
coming up now and then I'll just talk you through some of it. <laughs> I do really think so I, I wanted to just check with myself whether I'm just sort of you know getting dragged up into the hype and that sort of thing I say Yamaha have sent these guitars for me to check out I don't know if I'm keeping them they're not paying me to make the video but yeah that's what that is so in terms of bias yeah I'm, I'm liking what the pickups are putting out is basically what I've concluded Rupert Neve designed uh, they've done a whole kind of sort of sheet explaining some bits and pieces uh, i don't actually have the specs in terms of output and all that sort of stuff but i think it, it sounds great i'm going to just grab the old pacifica a second 
So personally, I feel like certainly some important refinements. For instance, I think that arm contour and belly cut look a little bit more professional. Certainly the heel joint I think is vastly improved. Um, I definitely prefer the aesthetics of it. I think it looks a little bit more, you know, notable than the older Pacifica, um, which, yeah, still had Grover and Wilkinson hardware uh, and Seymour Duncan pickups, like not badly appointed. I think they're still making these as well. Um, if it's not broken, they've not needed to fix it. I think these sell incredibly well overseas. And still a, a very reasonable guitar, but I feel like the, the newer Standard Plus kind of a bit more refined and a, a bit more pizzazz to it. Uh, but in the end, you know, both kind of a slightly modern Strat feel. Uh, this Goto two-point floating trem might be one area that, in terms of tuning stability, maybe even the Wilkinson might have pipped it for that because that can at least be set to kind of flat um so that might be one area where the older pacifica might suit certain people um but let me know your thoughts is that an improvement is that not anything about that you like anything about it you dislike i'd love to know your thoughts um as i say i basically knew this guitar was coming which is you know sorry <laughs> if it didn't seem like i did but I didn't know what it would look like. I didn't know how much of the prototype it would retain. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, I played it, both of these, alongside the prototype. I do think the Japanese one gets really, really quite close. The frets are definitely smaller than the, the prototype. And, of course, it doesn't have the reverse headstock. But I think they've done a fantastic job in bringing those concept guitars basically to life. And I do like these pickups. So, yeah, I, I'd like to know your thoughts. If you get a chance to try one in a shop, um, yeah, feel free to, to leave your thoughts in the comments and stuff. Uh, I'm quite impressed. Uh, I My buddy Chris is a huge fan of the older sort of super strat Floyd Rose, um, kind of the heritage of the Pacifica. And in, in, in those cases where you're looking for uh, something a bit more harking back to the super strat i don't know that this does that but at least to me you know the, the pacifica has sat for about 12 years with out too many tweaks i feel like this is a, a an important for the yamaha pacifica in the western part of the world an important step forward if uh, that's going to be a consideration for the intermediate the pro players i think that is kind of what they needed to do. So would you go for the Indonesian or the Japanese or nothing? I'd like to know your thoughts. I guess the, the most obvious competitor to me is the Ibanez AZ. And yeah, as I said yesterday, I think Yamaha have actually benefited from the Ibanez AZ now being quite established and mature that this is now like the new thing, which kind of takes things in a bit of a slightly different direction, even though it's doing very much a similar job. Um, I prefer the pickups on this to the AZ. And also the neck is less chunky, uh, which I think is one thing that a few people didn't necessarily get on with the Ibanez AZ. Like the, the neck um, feel was maybe too large for, for a few folks. So yeah, very cool guitars, I think. Cheers for stopping by. Uh, I was using the preset Eric Lee to 2023 there, um, but kind of with the third snapshot which has a bit less gain so if you want to check that out go up into the gum road and cheers for stopping by